Hello everyone. You are welcome to this video learning program produced by Rwanda Polytechnic. I'm Ashime Gilead, a trainer in masonry and surveying here at IPRC Chigali in the Civil Engineering Department. And I'm going to take you through the course of surveying instruments for masonry trade. Now, about the session of today, I'm going to introduce to you about surveying. Then, I will show you one surveying instrument which is used in most of surveying operations, and the instrument is this one. It is the automatic level. Then, with this automatic level, we will perform some surveying task. To start, let us have a common understanding about surveying. What is surveying in the construction? Normally, surveying is defined as a nut or a technique of determining the relative position of different points or object on the surface of the earth by means of direct or indirect measurements of distances, angles and direction. That is surveying. But according to ACSM, which is American Congress on Surveying and Mapping, they have defined the surveying as a nut and science of making all essential measurements in order to determine the relative position of different points on the surface of the earth. That is surveying. In surveying works, there are different instruments that are used. And this is one of them. It is one of the surveying instruments that is used in most of surveying operations. The instrument is called an automatic level. Why? What makes this level automatic? It is an automatic level because it contains a set of mirrors inside there that move automatically in response to the gravity of the earth. And that movement makes the line of sight, which is the horizontal line here, perfectly on level. That is why it is an automatic level. So this automatic level, it is not used itself. It has some accessories, which means that this automatic level is used together with other accessories, including the tripod, this is the tripod, which supports our automatic level. Now, the automatic level is also used with this staff. It is a staff reading or a load reading. It is used with this automatic level to take the readings here or to take some observations here. Then we have also here a tape measure. It is also used with this one in taking some measurements. Those are some accessories of an automatic level. Now, I think it's time to show you some major parts of this automatic level. I'm going to show you some major parts of this automatic level, starting with this upper part of the instrument. This upper part, the one which is rotating, just like this, this is the telescope. It is the level telescope. So this telescope, as you can see, it is rotating horizontally along its vertical axis. If we try to look at the end of this tel telescope, here, this part, we have the objective lens. This is the objective of the telescope. This objective normally catches the object that is being sighted, which is its function. Then, at the opposite end of this objective, I mean this part, we have the eyepiece. This is the eyepiece of the telescope. And this eyepiece, it is where the surveyor or the observer 
looks through. It means that the observer or the surveyor looks through this eyepiece when using the instrument. Now, if you rotate this eyepiece either clockwise or anticlockwise, this allows the crosshairs, which are the lines inside the, the telescope, this allows the crosshairs to become sharp and clear. Then, here we have this part. This is a focusing screw. It is also known as a focusing knob. So, this focusing screw is used just to make the object or the stuff that is being sighted to make it clear and sharp. So, we use this focusing screw in order to obtain a clear vision. Then here we have this part, this one. This is an horizontal tangent screw. It is also known as a turning screw. And this turning screw is used to move this telescope either left or right, depending on the required position. Now, we have also this part. And it is called an horizontal graduated circle. So this is a graduated horizontal circle. And it is used just for setting and reading the horizontal angles. So these are angles. Then we have also this part, this glass. Now, this is a circular bubble level. It is also known as a bull's eye level. Now, once the bubble, once the water bubble is centered, it means that the instrument is truly on the level. On the upper part of this circular bubble, you can see a small mirror. This is a small mirror here, which enables to view the bubble. Then we have also this part. These are the leveling screws. They are also called foot screws. They are three. One, two, three. Which means that the instrument has three foot screws. So the function of these three leveling screws is just to level the instrument. So we use this three leveling screw by adjusting them just to bring the bubble to the middle point of the circle. I think about the main parts or the major part of this instrument, it is clear. Remember, it is an automatic level used in surveying operations. And it is the one that we are going to be using during the entire time of our session. Now, after showing the major part of this automatic level, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up this level. So, this time, I'm going to demonstrate the setup of an automatic level. Mm -hmm.